So it's Tuesday and the inspectors came out and inspected the eye pit and the drain piping. And uh, I passed my inspection, no problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and backfill. So we'll start with, well, we'll start with that remainder, remainder of rock. We'll just go in the hole to get rid of it and then all this dirt, these couple three piles here, we'll go back in the hole and then I will start cutting into that bank putting that dirt back in the hole and then we'll be able to backfill all around the foundation hole out here and around the back okay so we have finished most of the dirt work the eye pit was right out here that's all covered up all the piping for the foundation is mostly covered up this little spot right here is not because I have to do some electrical and plumbing work in the dirt right here later um, I got the backfill done over on, on the would be the left side of the garage when you're looking at the front of it This is a little bit lower and then it kind of tapers off out here. I have my wellhead I can't go can't bring the dirt up too high there and then the concrete slab is going to come out For the man door right here And in order to do that I can't bring the dirt up around it too high So what we're working on right now is preparing the dirt inside the garage this uh, dirt here and all this over here we'll be compacting all that dirt down all of this and then we'll be putting rebar over the top of that and that'll be pouring concrete we'll be pouring concrete uh, this coming saturday it's So it's Tuesday and we've got the some of the forms up to get ready for the flat work that'll be this Saturday. So what you see here, uh, this board here, we'll, we'll put another board in here and we'll screed across from this concrete here over to that board and that'll give us a nice flat surface. This board along here is the front edge of the garage. It'll put the seam right under the garage door so when the garage door is closed it will cover up the seam. The only reason that matters is the finish in here is nice and flat and the finish out here will be brushed. A lot of times you'll see this board uh, six inches farther back this way. And when the door is shut, you'll see the finished flat concrete, nice and shiny, sticking out from under the garage door. And I don't like that look. I'd rather see the nice brush finish out here when the garage door is shut so it looks nice and, nice and neat. Uh, we formed up this form out here. That's just for the extra concrete. If there's any from from when we get done pouring all this concrete in here, uh, we'll pour it in here. And it's always good to have an extra form built for any extra concrete you might have. That way you don't waste it. And there's Parker. <laughs> so that's what uh, the concrete forms, in this case, for the flat work look like.
So we got done putting the rebar in. Uh, we're going to pour the flat work um, Saturday morning. The concrete truck will be here at 8 o'clock. What you were just watching me do over there was uh, put the tie wires on. They come in a little bag. You can get them down near your local big box store. And then the tie wire twister makes life a lot better. You don't have to sit there and uh, twist them by hand. So that ties all the rebar together. We've got a good amount of overlap on all our joints. And we've got the concrete piers that hold the rebar up out of the dirt. That way we don't have to come back through and pull the rebar up as we move along as we're pouring concrete on uh, Saturday morning. Um, we put rebar all the way along the front and we'll have some wire mesh in the uh, exit for the man door. And this is what it looks like just before you pour. The next video should be of us pouring.